her book. Thank you. So our question is, what is the point of view of our story? Let's do it. Ready? First person, what is it? The first person. Ah! Okay, let's do it as a whole class. Sorry. Guys, ready? First person. I, 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 me, 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 my, 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 third person. He, she. Okay, so this is our question for first grade and kindergarten. What is the point of view of the story? What is the point of view of the story? So we're looking out for kindergarten and first grade to raise their hands to answer the question. Is Miss Humphrey's class there? Yes, they're in Miss Cardenas. I'm running over now. <laughs> Thank you. I see Miss Cardenas is on. And our kindergarten class is also. Miss Cardenas, you can unmute. Trust me, we're ready for you. Third, it's third person. Hmm. Miss Stambolski's class. Okay. Yes. <laughs> They're sleeping. <laughs> Ali, can you tell us about third person? It's third person because at the it it's at the end of the story, um it said the little girl was me and third person means means the person and the author is in the story he, and, and and they also said he she and they thank you so much Ali. we're gonna switch over to miss kitten's class who's been waiting patiently we see niall ready to go Okay. So a question that I have for third grade classes is um, why was Ramona happy that um, Yard Ape gave her the letter? Because the thing is, I'm, at the end, Yard Ape said, get better or else I'll eat your eraser. And that's kind of rude and disgusting. So say the question one more time. The question is, why did Yard Ape, why was Ramona happy when Yard Ape gave her, um, gave her the letter? Because it said, I'll get better or else I'll eat your eraser. All right, so we're looking for Miss Radu's class or Miss Daughtry's class for third grade students to answer. So if I say it to you like if I did like that, so I can say it and then send it to you. I'm going to say it louder. Yeah. Say louder, baby. I think it's cool. Did you hear what he said? I'm sorry, Miss Radu. We are hearing what Can you say it louder? Can you say it louder one more time? Ramona was happy because she wanted her to get better. Great. So Ramona was happy because it meant he wanted her to get better. Miss Kim's class, what do we feel about that answer? Uh, I see Niall giving a sideways thumb. Okay, Niall, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I see that you're unmuted. They're really loud, Niall. I what said, do you think? 
I said it kind of answers my question because she did. Um, it does. She does. She does say one part of the letter as a detail, but um, eating someone's eraser isn't really that nice. So um, that kind of answers my question. Okay, so Kyle, I think what I'm hearing you say is that you want our friends to answer with more details from the text and dive a little deeper into the questions. Yeah. Make a constructive response. All right, thank you, Niall. I think that's good feedback for all of our friends who are asking and answering questions. And I see Miss Samaya's class has their hand up. So Miss Isan's class and Miss Rosner and Miss Ali's class, get ready. Hand up. Shh. How is the information in the text connected to the title fish in a tree? Hmm. Okay, so we are looking for Ms. Isan's class or Ms. Rosner's class, if they're ready to dive in with an answer. Oh, I see Ms. Ali raising her hand. We're ready to go. Go ahead, Sarah. Uh, so it connects to the text because um, she's a fish and the tree is unique and she's unique because she doesn't really know how to read. And most of the kids in the school know how to read. Thank you. Miss Samaya's class, how do we feel about that answer? Roy, come on, if you disagree, say it. Do you agree or disagree? I disagree. Why? You have to explain. <laughs> They're waiting for you. Why do you disagree with her answer? That is what she said. So, Miss Samaya's class, what are we feeling? So, yeah, she did it correct because she doesn't know how to read. She has a right? So, do you agree, John? Yes, I agree because she's unique, and all the kids in her class and make a fun of her. Come on. Okay. Go ahead. Um, she, um, Sarah. Sarah is correct because she, all the kids in her class bullies her because she because she can't read it. That's how she's and that's how um the what you said can do it. And that's how the um that's how the question what Joey said is correct. That's how Sarah answered our question. So yes. Great. Thank you, Joe. And lastly, we're gonna turn it over to Miss Elderberry's class for fifth grade questions. I feel like I saw um, someone from Miss Ali's class. I feel like I saw um, Zara's sister. Yes, like she answered. answered. Oh, she did answer? Okay. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. We're reading the book called, and I wrote, Why did X ray call the new kid Twitch? And the answer. Chapter what? In chapter 32. Okay. Fifth grade classes. Ah, Miss Bial's class is ready. He's coming over. <laughs> the reason why Exer called the new kid Twitch is because whenever he's around a really good car, he starts to twitch. All right, thank you so much, Jeremiah. We will continue with our back of the books tomorrow. And right now, I'm going to turn it back over to our morning announcement team.
I, I am the term of that I graduated from college. Education the key to my future success. I will attend school every day. I will work hard in every way. I will honor all all who have shared their knowledge with me so I can succeed. I, I, I will stay out of trouble and engage in activities that support my community. I have faith in myself and never give up. I'll be positive even when times get tough. I'll do my best. I'll strive to be the best. I'll graduate. Zobi will now say our lunch and we should schedule for today. Today for lunch we have pizza and Pearl salad. Today we will have inside recess. Please remember to follow direction. The scale of the week is point of view. While the author is the one who wrote the words, point of view helps us understand who, who in the story is experience the details. We wish everyone a great day. We will turn it on to Principal Hasbury Signal. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Let's get started for this week. Today is, let me just double check, the 90th day of school. So within two weeks, we're going to celebrate the 100th day of school. We have 92 days to go. So we're right smack dead in the middle. This is the time of year where we're getting ready for all of our activities, all of the fun events. We need to make sure that our parents are involved. So please tell your parents to volunteer to be a parent class um, represent, representative or to come help out with some of the events that we're, happen, that we're having because it's very, very important. I hope everyone had a great weekend. We have a busy week in front of us and let's make today an awesome day. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Goodbye.